हेलो डी एस स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफेक्टर इन दिस क्लास विल बी सींग डेसीमल बी सी डी एड द टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक सर्किट द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज डिजिटल एलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन दिस क्लास विल बी सींग हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट बी सी डी एड ओके लेट इज स्टार्ट टू इम्प्लीमेंट बी सी डी एड वी रिक्वायर थ्री स्टेप्स फर्स्ट फोर बिट बाइनरी एड फॉर इनिशियल एडिशन सो वॉट इज ए बी सी डी एड वेन द सम इज ग्रेटर देन नाइन और इफ एनी कैरी इज जनरेटेड वी हैव टू एड सिक्स सिक्स मीन्स जीरो डबल वन जीरो दिस इज द बी सी डी एडिशन वी परफॉर्म सो वॉट इज ए बी सी डी एडिशन वाइल एडिंग टू बाइनरी नंबर्स ए एंड बी If the sum is greater than नाइन or if a carry is generated, then we need to add सिक्स ज़ीरो डबल वन ज़ीरो टू द सम टू गेट द एक्यूरेट बी सी डी सम सो दीज आर द थ्री स्टेप्स फर्स्ट इज वी नीड फोर बिट बाइनरी एडर फॉर इनिशियल एडिशन आफ्टर एडिशन वी नीड सेकेंड लॉजिक सर्किट After addition, we need a logic circuit to detect whether the sum is greater than nine. Third step: one more four-bit adder to add zero double one zero. It means six in the sum. If the sum is greater than nine or carry is one, so we more need one more adder circuit to add six to the sum. Under what condition if the sum is greater than नाइन or if a carry वन is generated? So how can we design this adder circuit? For that we need a truth table. So this is a truth table. The logic circuit to detect we are designing first the logic circuit. The logic circuit to detect सम ग्रेटर देन नाइन कैन बी डिटरमाइंड बाई सिंप्लीफाइंग द बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द गिवन ट्रूथ टेबल सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू डिजाइन राइट द ट्रूथ टेबल सो ट्रूथ टेबल मीन्स लेट एस से दैट वी हैव एडेड टू बाइनरी नंबर्स ए एंड बी बट वी आर एडिंग टू बाइनरी नंबर्स ए कंप्राइजिंग ऑफ फोर बिट्स ए थ्री ए टू ए वन ए जीरो There is another binary number b having bits b three, b two, b one, b zero. So this we are adding them. So it will generate the sum as s three, s two, s one, s zero. So we are using this sum output as input now. Okay, because we are going to check whether this sum generated is greater than nine. Or whether if a carry is generated, so we will use this sum s three, s two, s one, s zero as the output, as input. S three, s two, s one, s zero as input in the truth table. That's what written here. The truth table is comprising of two columns: inputs, output. Inputs are the sum s three, s two, s one, s zero. The output is variable y, which will become one. When the sum is greater than nine, so for four variables s three, s two, s one, s zero, how many possible combinations we can write? Sixteen combinations varying from zero, 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 zero till one, one, one. So total sixteen combinations are possible. So which I have written in this truth table here. Yes. Let us read it once quickly. Zero, 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 zero. Zero 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 one zero zero one zero 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 one one zero one double zero zero one zero one zero one one zero zero triple one one triple zero one double zero one. So up to here. Okay, this is one double zero one is nine. so this is sum when the sum is equal to or less than 9 what happened to the y column all are zero okay 
So, when the sum is varying from 0 to 9, the output column is 0. Now, when the sum is greater than 9, so how do we write 1 double 0 1? 1 0 1 0 1 0 double 1 1 1 double 0 double 1 0 1 triple 1 0 4 ones. Okay. So, when the sum is greater than 9, the output became 1. So, now we need to write truth table, we need to sub simplify the k map for the y column. We need to sub simplify the k map. So, how many variable k map will take? 4 variable k map S3, S2, S1, S0 which I have drawn it here. So, this is a k map 4 variable k map S3, S2, S1, S0. This k map will simplify and give the expression for y. So, we have seen when the sum is greater than 9 that is all the numbers above 9 are 1. So, we know the cell numbers it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11. So, from 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, these 6 numbers are 1. First, we made the grouping of this squared and then this squared. On writing the quad for this one, what we will get here? It is S3, S2. For this squared, it is S3, S1. So, we are having two terms here S3, S2 plus S3, S1. So, this is a logic circuit equation when the sum is greater than 1. So, the we can now implement the BCD adder here. So, what is the circuit comprising of two 4 bit binary adders? So, first understand this one. First, we need 4 bit binary adder. What it is doing? It is taking two numbers A and B. A is having 4 bits A3, A2, A1, A0. The B number binary number is comprising of B3, B2, B1, B0. These two numbers A and B numbers are given to this 4 bit binary adder, which is generating the sum S3, S2, S1, S0. For every adder, first we have to check is there any carry. So, there is, is there any carry C in and C out. The adder inputs are binary. We need two numbers along with carry and the output are sum and carry. Okay. Now, we need to check with the help of a logic circuit whether this sum generator is greater than 9 or not. So, we will attach a logic circuit here to this sum lines. What is the sum line uh, logic circuit comprising of what is the y equation? The y equation is S3 S2 plus S3 S1. This logic circuit we need to add. So, what we have done S3 S2, S3, S1. So, we are given S3, S2 to an end gate, S3, S1 to an end gate and then R date. It is generating one output. So, this what is this logic circuit doing? This logic circuit is checking whether the sum is greater than 9 or not. And also it need to check whether the generated carry is 1 or not. Then the carry is 1 also then it will send the output as 1. Okay. So, it will send 1. So, the which is given to this 4 bit binary adder. So, what is coming here? 4 bit binary adder means it need it will be taking this sum S3, S2, S1, S0 along with this sum. It need to add how much? 6. To generate 6, this is logic 0. So, what will happen now? When the logic circuit output is 1, what it will give? It will give as 1, 1, 0. So, it means it is adding 6 along with this sum to get the final sum S3 
S2, S1, S0. Let us say S3 dash, S2 dash, S1, S1 dash, S0 dash. It is generating C out and here the carry in value is 0 we have taken. So, when the sum is greater than 9, what this logic circuit will do? It will generate 1. So, this 1 is coming here. So, it will become 1, 1, 0 which is added. So, in this way we can design the BCD adder. So, for BCD adder we require two 4 bit binary adders. To the first binary adder we are getting giving two numbers A and B carry in generating the sum. There is a logic circuit to detect whether the sum is greater than 9 and it is generating 1 and this 6 1 1 0 this is added to this sum to get the final output sum S3 dash, S2 dash, S1 dash, S0 dash with carry out, ignore and C in. So, I hope it is clear. So, here you need to remember two important points. When the sum is great, less than 9 and carry out is 0, nothing is added to the binary sum. The second condition is when the sum is greater than 9 or carry out is 1 binary number 0 double 1 0 is added to the binary sum. I hope the class uh, BCD adder is clear. If you have any queries you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.